Hello and welcome to HA's Geek Out. I'm Hamish and Andre is not here today due to just I'm unable to be getting here to record, so I'm just making a quick ridiculous video in Simpsons Hit and Run game for my childhood. This is on a PC version which is a not working properly. At least I'm pretty sure it's not based off some ridiculous jumps I'm getting. So I figured, eh, why not? Let's go grab a rocket powered car and just screw around through the stone cutters tunnel. Ah, uh, yeah, it's very hard to control this game right now. <clears throat> so, I don't know about anyone watching this, but I played this a fair bit as a kid. Hours of it. Finished it once or twice. And, yeah, it was fun. You know, nothing like doing the old fashioned. Yeah. <laughs> and then, you know, kicking the shit out of the school bus. Okay, let's go back through the stone cutter's hidden tunnel. Man, I'm glad they got the sign there, otherwise I wouldn't know what to call it. As we listen to, I think, Spring by Vivaldi? I learnt something about how to play this song. Okay, as I continue to stuff up this game. All's good. All's not good. All's not good. All's not good. Come on, speedster. Chest pain. Having chest pain. Don't care about your chest pains. Ooh. Okay. Can you come and get me? I'll pay you in yeah. Bed, As I said, PC version doesn't work properly. I'm, a lean, mean, I'm not gonna keep playing this because after this short little video, because this seems a bit impossible to play with some of its issues. I like. Severe loading times. Um, ridiculous speeds after most jumps. I'll go find one that'll. Yeah, there we are. That is just really like the cars just you know caught on something and just gone flying. Yeah, there's another example of that. <laughs> it's sort of funny to play this game. It's so much worse than its normal self. And nor do cars fly this way. So, you know, we've all got something wrong with this, mate. Whee! How far will I go? Get into the skybox, clearly. Right, spacebar is set to riding cars, and that's like what I'm hitting for brake all the time. But yeah, so I don't know how long I'll play this for. You know, 10, 20 minutes, and I'll just try to cut it down. Cut out all my dead air and complaining about how bad it is. Oh, Let's try to do the first mission of the game. One sec as I speed all the way somewhere. Wee. Okay, okay. That was on purpose. Okay, now the first thing everyone seems to do in this game, which is almost wrong. Anyway. The Cola Caper. The Cola Capper. Okay, go to the Cookie Mart and purchase some ice cream and cola. I mean, if I didn't have the instructions, I'd have no idea what I'd need to do. Keep hitting Enter for the Action button. Hey, I've got to bloody go through here. Yep, this is a Super Zoom. There are several Super Zooms throughout the map. Um, they're not fun because it means I can't play the game properly. But you know, when you did install a crack folder into an ISO you downloaded, you really can't complain about these things. My other alternative is obviously using an emulator and at the same time it's like, I can't complain about these things. Uh, I don't know if you enjoy me rambling whilst playing this game with even, not even the basic crappy loading screens. Oh, it's just so rude of them. Yeah, I know how to play the game. All the time it plays the audio for Bart speaking, it's the one time I'm trying to talk. Because that's Bart. Fucking rude. Okay, this is my favourite costume in the entire game. It straight up is, I'm not even being sarcastic here. So, let's press the action button. 
Yeah, of course it does, Homer, because this is bloody. Damn it. It's hard well. to get the camera angles right. Especially since I can't actually control the camera with the mouse. I can change it to work that way, but hey, that's actually worse than not doing it. Okay, now let's get ourselves facing forwards. That's right, hitting four hitting four on the number pad. Ooh. Looks harder than it is. I grew up watching The Simpsons, so I had so much fun playing this game. Now my Xbox doesn't work. Xbox original, obviously. And this is why I believe they should, um, bloody well throw the, uh, hit and run games onto the Xbox One backwards compatibility. You know, they've already done a bunch of other games I played as a kid. Why don't they do one I absolutely loved? Probably my favourite game growing up. Hey, come on. What, why do you keep treating me like I accidentally spare space all the time in a game where space does not what I want it to? Um, nah. Well, it's about time. Shut up. Don't say that about beating your wife, Homer, you prick. Censoring myself for YouTube, obviously. I'm only going to say fuck twice in this video. Jesus. This is just ridiculous. See what I mean? No bloody, um... Playing through all of this. Because this is just broken. I'd have to use an emulator, which, you know, I'd rather not use. Uh, here's the thing I'd use an emulator if it was Xbox, because I grew up playing Xbox, and if you've ever tried looking for an Xbox emulator, you know my pain. Oh god. <sighs> like I said, this is pretty bad. I recommend trying to find this here and seeing if you have these issues too because it is just hilariously shit oh my god because if you play this game you should realize that movement just doesn't naturally work Vengeance will be mine. <laughs> okay. again one of the funnest things about this game as a kid all the gags yeah, <laughs> remember that? Yeah, that's from the episode Homer's, where Moo Moo Homer comes from. Oh, I need a disco nap. We so yeah, just ridiculous stuff. I always liked Mr. Burns' mansion. It's the best on Marge's level, just because you get to go inside of it just for a little bit, and you know, there's not much to it. It's still just very fun. Hmm. Well, I enjoyed Bart's level probably the most as a kid. Must never run again. Just because of all the, well, you know, you got to see like that cool sort of more built up area. You had those highways, which I always got lost on as a kid. And I played it recently and on an emulator. And it was just so simple to navigate from. I'm like, how much of an idiot am I? These levels are all circles. How am I getting lost? <laughs> Bikini zones chafing. Yeah, um Chest pain. Having chest pain. Yeah, these lines can sometimes get you just a little bit considering they happen a lot. Mind you, when you're that size you do get a lot of chafing. Okay. Enter the car. Jesus. Piece of shit. Okay, let's drive back out to um, Stone Cutter's secret entrance. And let's get prepared to stuff it all up. Do, 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 do. Let's do this thing. Oh, come on. Stupid cars. Worst game ever. I'm never playing it again. Let's continue playing this game. Hmm. I was gonna like properly play through this and do like several missions and all this stuff, have fun. But then I just get, went into sort of test out how stable the game is and well things happened and it's like nah I can't make a proper series out of this game, so let's just have some fun. Where am I Whee. Gonna blow me? Ah yes. Ooh. Yeah, see what I mean? 
I could not make a series out of this. Me or Andre could not do this. So, just one off joke video for the uh, times in which I don't have Andre. Just re upload this 40 times, he won't mind. Box boy. Oi. Mate. I said you could be here. Certainly not me. And I say things. So I think I've got some importance to me. Okay, let's keep getting tossed around this game. And this is how driving works, guys. You just drive the moment you're in the car. You don't even have to actually drive. I mean, trust me, I've got my license. It's clearly how it works, kids. Just watch your parents. They're never actually driving. Just all lying to you. Hashtag parents are Illuminati confirmed. Oh, shit. Ugh. There is actually a semi-serious point I suppose I should go into in this video, which is on the, was I think the 7th or 8th video of the Game Dev Tycoon series me and Andre doing, we were talking about, um, Andre was talking about him playing Diplomacy 3 or something like that, and basically at one point he says something which would be considered very offensive to a lot of people, but in the context of that's what it used to be like. Now to anyone who is or was offended by that, I do apologize, truly. In the end, I had the choice whether or not to get rid of it, and I decided to keep, keep it because it made most sense, you know. It was talking contextually about who we were as children, teenagers, really. And, you know, it seems like the right thing to do for the sense of what we used to be like to show that, you know, as we've grown older, we've gotten a bit more calm about things. Less, um... Revolutionary. <laughs> Knowing Andre watches these videos, I'm gonna just a quick message to Andre. Um, uh, I've been catching up on movies so I can actually get around to watching Infinity War. For, oh crud. Um, yeah, Infinity Wars, because, you know, good should be a good movie, and I've hadn't watched either of the Guardians of the Galaxy movies. Doctor Strange, Spider-Man, or for Ragnarok, or Black Panther, and now I've only got Black Panther left to watch, which is fantastic, they were all great movies, god, um, Guardians, the Galaxy Volume 1 was amazing, I'm disappointed I hadn't gotten around to watching it sooner, but you know how it is, you get busy, just roaming about, doing crap. One last go through this tunnel, then I'll say I'll call it quits of this recording. Unless, of course, it's far too short, at which point, you know, maybe I won't. Let's get out. Woo! Now, a pro tip. Oh, come on, let me get back into my car. Basically, your car has a magnet effect for coins, so if you're ever, like, annoyed that you won't be able to get co some certain coins, just hop in your car and that should grab them for you. <clears throat> okay, so as I'm trying to j grab this thing here, suppose I'll call it quits for today. Thank you for watching. I've been Hamish and this has been HNA's Geek Out, just doing a quick little bit of Simpson Sit and Run. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.